So let's take a look at another example of finding trig functions using a point that lies on the terminal side of a given angle. So first we need to construct our angle that passes through the point one negative one. So draw our angle in standard position. So vertex at the origin, initial side along the positive x axis. Um, so one negative one, that's gonna put us in quadrant four. Uh, so we have out one, down one. So our angle is going to be a 45 degree angle. Let's say our point is here. Uh, and then we can construct our right triangle. Remember when you're constructing your right triangle, you want to always construct it with the X axis. So we're going to make our right triangle here. So we have a right triangle here and we want to then fill in our measures so we know that this value here is uh, 1 negative 1 so let's uh, fill in the data that we know so the distance the horizontal distance here is 1 this is from the x coordinate so that value is 1 uh, this vertical distance is also 1 but in the negative direction so it's negative directionally and it has a value of one and then we see that these two measures are the same and so that tells us that this is a 45 45 90 right triangle and so the our hypotenuse is just going to be one times the square root of two so the hypotenuse is the square root of two so you could use that relationship or you could use pythagorean theorem to figure out the hypotenuse's measure so now we can use this information to help us find sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent of our angle theta. So let's go through and do that. So the sine of theta. The sine of theta is equal to, so the opposite side, which is negative 1, divided by the hypotenuse, which is the square root of 2. Now we have to rationalize this. So multiply numerator and denominator by the square root of 2. And we end up with negative square root of 2 over 2. So negative rad 2 over 2. Take the cosine. So find the cosine of theta. The cosine of theta is going to be the adjacent side, which is 1 over the square root of 2. And it's positive in this case, because remember, in the fourth quadrant, the cosine is positive. And then when we rationalize by multiplying again by red 2 over 2, or sorry, red 2 over red 2, we're going to get the square root of 2 over 2. And then the tangent, the tangent of theta, is going to be the opposite over the adjacent. So negative 1 over positive 1, which is just equal to negative 1. So now let's find the reciprocal functions. So we have the reciprocal of the sine, which is the cosecant of theta. Now, one thing that's kind of nice, so we could take the reciprocal of negative rad 2 over 2, but we know that this is equivalent to negative 1 over rad 2, so I'm actually going to use this reciprocal. So that's going to be the square root of 2 over negative 1, which just simplifies to be negative rad 2. Uh, the reciprocal of the cosine is the secant of theta. And then this time we take the reciprocal of rad 2 over 1, and it's just going to be positive rad 2. And then taking the reciprocal of the tangent function is going to be the cotangent of theta. And that's going to be 1 over negative 1, which is just negative 1. So these are the values of our six trig functions given the point one negative one lies on the terminal side of our angle.